What's up everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Land, and today I want to talk more about this Mario Kart 9 slash 10 rumor by kind of giving my own type of predictions of what this game is going to be like. And today's prediction is going to be based on the main roster. And today I'm not diving into any other Nintendo properties joining Mario Kart, that will be a separate video. All the characters in this video will all be based on the Mario franchise itself, so Mario, Donkey Kong, stuff like that, and even side spin-off Mario games could appear here. Each character can have its own multiple skin variants, which can be kind of like skins or echo fighters that will appear, such as Mario and Dr. Mario would be an example, and stuff like that. So I'll give each of these characters their variants or kind of different colors and alts, and I'll also give them each a cart that kind of represents who they are. Now in this game, I'm saying that you can either have a cart, you can run, you can fly, it doesn't really matter, it's just going to be all over the place because it is going to be an insane cart racer. So I'm going to give you a list of all the characters that I think should be in this game from the Mario franchise itself and also their alts and their cards. But real quick before we get started, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more Mario Kart content and feel free to join the official Nintendo Land members. At only $2 a month, you guys can have unique chat emojis, you guys can chat with me and also get your comments and suggestions posted in the video. For instance, if I do post a video very soon about Mario Kart viewer wishes, you could have your wishes shown off guaranteed. So feel free to check that out. The join button is right beside the subscribe button. Check it out. See if you guys want to join. Our goal right now is to get 10 members total so please feel free to check it out at least just see if it benefits you at all so thank you guys let's get on to the video so i have three categories the first categories i call the stars which are the you know guaranteed then we have the enemies which i've added a whole bunch of bowser's henchmen and different enemies from his side and then the third category is new extra additions and we'll so first off we are dealing with the main stars and with mario his alternates are going to be dr mario different type of mario items and even shadow mario would work so would cosmic mario from Mario Galaxy. I also thought, you know, Mario has tons of different costumes from Mario Odyssey, and obviously Mario Kart Tour is going to help with a lot of these as well with costumes, but Mario has plenty of stuff to pull from. I mean, he's going to have amazing things. And his cart it will probably just be a normal Mario Kart. He's an all-around character. He's going to have something basic. Luigi will probably have Gooigi, Mr. L, and that would be really cool to have those outfits. And then obviously he would have the Poltergust 4000, and maybe it's revamped for, you know, a new style of Poltergust or a new model. Princess Peach would just have rider outfits that were different than her dress, and she'll have a bike, and same with Daisy. She'll have different rider outfits with a bicycle. I think most of the girls would look really cool with different uh, motorcycle riding outfits. You know, Peach started to get that in Mario Kart Wii, so it's good to kind of see that, you know, kind of flourish a lot more. And then, obviously, with Yoshi, we're going to have different colors. Yoshi has so many different colors, and we already have that in Mario Kart 8 already, but I would love to see Boshi. That would be really cool for Mario RPG. Now, this is going to be a first example of what I'm doing here. If you just remembered, I said Mario different item outfits would be really cool, and he already has a Tanuki suit in Mario Kart 8, but it acts as an original character. So does Metal Mario and Metal Peach and all that stuff. These will all be alts, and different characters could be alts for characters that are already established. For instance, one of the Yoshi ones I thought of was Birdo, and just like I said Boshi, Birdo would be its own separate character with dialogue and everything, it'll just be tied under the Yoshi column and under the Yoshi tag when you click Yoshi. And it'll kind of be like a stackable uh, Echo Fighter or Echo Driver in this case, but I think that would be a lot cooler than just having them all be separate things. That way you know, hey, I want Birdo, she's in a Yoshi family, let me go to Yoshi. You could also have Yarn Yoshi, that'd be really cool, and for the cart it would be some type of egg cart that we've seen in the past. For Bowser, we have Dry Bowser, you could have Dreamy Bowser from the Mario and Luigi series, or Meowser from Mario 3 World. I think that gives him more kind of flavor and variety. You could also have Big Baby Bowser from Yoshi's Island, which I know is just baby version of Bowser that's bigger. That's kind of, you know, it doesn't make sense, but still, you could have it. You could even have Theory Bowser, which is just a colorway where he's like all black. That would be really cool. Um, and obviously for his car, you would have the car that he has in Mario 3D World. I think that would fit perfectly. For Toad, you have the Captain Toad. You have the different colors, or even the Toad Brigade from Mario Galaxy, with of course Toadette joining as an alt and Toadsworth as well. His cart will be a mine cart. DK will have Funky Kong, Cyber Kong from Barrel Blast, Chunky Kong from Mario 64, and the Jungle Beat Kong Fighters, which would be really cool. And he would probably have his Jungle Beat Jets or a Rocket Barrel from the Donkey Kong Country Returns or Tropical Freeze series. Diddy Kong would just probably have different colors, I really don't know what else to give him, and he will have his Rocket Barrel from his backpack. 
and Wario will have Master of Disguise outfits from that game, and even WarioWare design outfits, and maybe outfits that, you know, kind of reference different WarioWare characters. He will have a fancy car or his motorcycle like he has in the opening of the Wario Land games and obviously WarioWare. Waluigi would have different types of wacky outfits like he does in his different sports games like he just got in Mario Golf, so he could have those in Mario Kart, and he has some type of fancy car or motorcycle very similar to either Bowser's or obviously Wario's. Bowser Jr. will have a Yarn Baby Bowser alt. Now I know Baby Bowser isn't Bowser Jr., but I would love to see that alt for his character. That would be pretty cool. He could also have Koopalings return, but this time not as separate individual characters. Instead, they'll be tied to Bowser Jr., similar to Smash Brothers. And his car will be a flying clown car that he can actually maneuver in the air. It's a hovercraft. Rosalina will have her cosmic spirit from Mario Galaxy 2 and different rider outfits like she already does. And maybe her cart is like a mini observatory this time around. That's kind of like built into a cart or Luma's or even like a Launch Star style of cart. Finally, for this section, we have Baby Mario, and I think all the other babies as alts would work. Once again, not as separate characters, and maybe this is where Bowser Jr. goes instead, but I would just love to have all the babies under a specific, you know, alt. That way, you don't have all these wasted slots. And I think they can have a small car similar to Double Dash, and you can actually pick two babies in order to drive that cart, kind of like an Ice Climbers type of thing. Now we move on to the enemies, and the enemies is where we're going to see a lot of variation with different alts. Starting off with Goomba. Goomba can have Paragoomba, Galoomba, Spiked Bone Goombas from the Paper Mario franchise. You can have Private Goomba from Mario and Luigi. You got Captain Goomba from Mario and Luigi, Goombario, and Goombella from Paper Mario. It's really like endless what you can do with Goomba. And his car will be kind of like a shoe cart where we know the shoe Goomba, you know, they kind of sit in a little shoe or they can ice skate in the shoe. This time it'll have wheels and they can drive it. You can have Shy Guy and he will have the alts of Sergeant Guy from Mario and Luigi once again, that trio. Spear Guy is from Yoshi's Island and you can have different Yoshi's Island themed Shy Guys where they originate um, or kind of, you know, grow more from, not really originate. They have lots of different alterations in Yoshi's Island. You have General Guy from Paper Mario 64, and you could have the General Guy train as maybe the vehicle. I couldn't really think of what else, maybe just a regular minecart or something, but I'm sure Nintendo could figure that out. Koopa Troopa would have tons of alts. The first one being Corporal Paraplunk from, once again, that trio from Mario and Luigi. You have a regular Paracoopa. You have the Odyssey hat versions from, obviously, Mario Odyssey. Dry Bones could even be an alt instead of its separate character with different types of Dry Bones like we see from Mario Super Sluggers. Paper Mario ones with the glasses and they kind of look, you know, more rough and edgy. Uh, you have Coops and Cooper from Paper Mario and Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. And you have Paracarry that could also work as well. And then their cart would be some type of shell, I would say. I would love to see like a flying blue shell style of, you know, pod racer type of thing where it's like floating. That'd be really cool. The Hammer Bros would have all the different types of Hammer Bros. You have Hammer Bros, Fire Bros, Ice Bros, Boomerang Bros, and it keeps going on and on and on all the way down the list. You could have Army Bro from Super Princess Peach even appear in there. Yes, I'm getting very specific. And I feel like their cards would be more like Hot Rod, something like Bowser's from Mario 3D World. And then we have King Boo. I would think King Boo should be in here, and he could have different variants. He has his, you know, obviously Luigi's Mansion variant, which I think needs to be an alt. He could have regular Boos that could be a character that he could switch to. Uh, you could be the King Boo from Super Mario Sunshine that's all weird and goofy. Or you could even be a Bomb Boo from Mario Galaxy. I think that would be really cool to have all those different alts under King Boo. You know, in order for his cart, I don't really know. Maybe he has his Boos carry him around, and it kind of works like that with another hover cart type of thing. But I'm sure, once again, Nintendo could figure that out. Maybe it's just a floating, like, robotic Boo cart or something like that. For the last batch of enemies, we start off with King bob -omb. Just like King Boo, I think it'd be cool to have different bob -omb alts. For instance, the little red bob that are nice to you in Mario 64 would be pretty cool. You could have Bombette or Admiral Bobbery from the Paper Mario games. And you could even have Bobby from the recent Paper Mario The Origami King. And the bob can maybe carry King bob as he's running or something like that. Um, that's what they do in Mario Golf Super Rush. So it would be cool to see that as like his cart mechanic or something. Like they're carrying his cart. I don't know. It'd probably just be a regular cart though. We can have Kamek in the game and you could have a Camilla alt from Mario Galaxy. And you could have Cammy from Paper Mario appear as well. And maybe even a yarn variant from, obviously, Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, that'd be pretty cool. And then the main vehicle here for her would be a broom. Maybe some type of, like, two or three brooms put together for a broom 
cart that flies and hovers. I think hover cars this time would be really cool as a option. We have bikes and already have carts. Why not add another option? And I'll get into that in another video, of course. Getting carried away, but yeah. We can see Lakitu come back from Mario Kart 7, and Lakitu could have Lack of Lester from, obviously, Paper Mario. You could have other types of Lakitu's. I don't know. I know there's different styles and types. For instance, there's that Lack of Thunder from the new Super Mario Brothers on the DS you could have, and also the Giga Lakitu from Mario Galaxy 2. So there's options, and I think you will have some type of cloud cart. Um, maybe it's just a cloud that he customized to be a cart or a hovercraft once again. That'd be pretty cool. And then last but not least, for the enemies, we have PD Piranha. I think he definitely needs to be here. Um, you can have different types of Piranha Plant variants as his different alts, just straight up Piranha Plants, just like we see in Smash, and the different alts representing different types of Piranha Plants, like the spiked ones from Mario Galaxy and stuff like that, or even the poison ones would be really cool. And maybe he just, you know, his cart is him running. You know, Piranha Plant, PD's very fast. Even in that Mario Party minigame where he's running to catch you, like, he's fast. And even the Piranha Plants can run, as we know, they have little nub feet coming out of the pot from Smash Brothers. But that'd be very funny to see. Now for this next category, these are all either new additions or extra additions that may have appeared slightly in past games. Starting off, we have Pauline. Obviously, we need Pauline in this game. She's in Mario Kart tour she's going to be in this game people love pauline nintendo loves pauline and it's going to be some type of you know musical reference of course you're going to have like a microphone in her car they always do that um but she'll probably have racer outfits like peach daisy and rosalina and she would probably have some type of spunky cart that plays music like she does in mario kart tour so she's kind of like really good already in that game bring that over we're going to have Cappy and Tiara. That would be really cool as well, brother and sister. And they'll be in some type of cat vehicle. Maybe those floating ones from Bonneton that we would see. Um, that would be a cool vehicle for Cappy. And then we could have Luba from Mario Galaxy 2. And their alts would be Lumas, Hungry Lumas, even Polari. And similar to Rosalina, they could have like a Launch Star car. And then from Mario Sunshine, we could have Pianta and Noki. They could have different types of Piantas, different types and colors of Nokis, and the Piantas would drive like these long tree carts, and Nokis could have small shell carts. They would make good heavyweight and lightweight counterparts. For our next group, we have the Sprixies from Mario 3D World. You could have all the different colors, and maybe they all represent different worlds with their carts or something like that. That'd be really cool. Each cart kind of has a little design from each world, like the jungle or the desert and stuff. That'd be really sweet. Dixie Kong would be joining the roster again from Mario Kart Tour, and she'll have different colors. I don't really know what else to do with her, with her alts. Um, but yeah, you could have, I guess, Kitty Kong as an alt. I'm just kidding. I mean, that is a joke. She would have a rocket barrel as some type of cart as well. Cranky Kong would join, and he'd just have different styles, maybe some classic styles and stuff, and maybe he'll have like an old-fashioned wooden cart that he made himself. King K. Rule is going to be in this game. It needs to happen, and he'll probably have different types of Kremlings as his different types of alts, which would be a lot of fun to have. Um, and he will have game-based outfits like the pirate hat or the lab coat from Donkey Kong Country 3. And he could have a mini version of K. Rule Isle as like a little tank cart or something like that. That'd be really cool and neat, or just a big motorcycle I feel like would fit him the best. And then we will have E. Gad from Luigi's Mansion. We definitely need E. Gad in here. He's always helping everybody out with his inventions. He needs to be in this game. Um, he could have just different colored lab coats or maybe even the younger version of himself from Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. And he can drive some type of polar gust, maybe like the one that he's made in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga as almost like a jet. And finally, for our last batch of characters, we start off with Paper Mario. Paper Mario needs to be here. I know I don't want lots of different versions of Mario, but Paper Mario is just so different, he needs to be here. I would love to have his alts being different different versions of other paper characters. That'd be cool as well. Paper Luigi, Paper Peach, Paper Bowser. That'd be awesome. Obviously, he'd have some type of paper or cardboard, you know, cut out car. That'd be really sweet. I would love to see something like that. You could have Fawful from Mario and Luigi with different colors or maybe his dark star version. Uh, maybe his jetpack or his hovering platform is his actual cart. You have Popple from Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. He could have different colors and maybe an alt being Nabbit since they're both kind of like crooks with bags where they steal things. That'd be kind of cool. Um, the cart would be something like a big bag of money that's molded into some type of new cart or something. I don't know. Cacletta from Mario and Luigi will be here with different colors. Maybe her spirit form as well. And some type of evil bean bean car or something. I don't know. Antasma from Mario and Luigi Dream Team will be here with different colors. A bat car or some type of dreamy style to him would be really cool. Um, I know he has different versions. He has a regular bat, uh, his regular version, a dreamy version, and then you could have some type of evil creepy car. 
Princess Shroob will be our final character here. Um, and you could have Elder Shroob be the kind of alt for her. Uh, her older sister obviously are different Shroobs from her Shroob army. Um, and her, you know, kind of spaceship or cart would be a UFO that she has in the actual game that she flies and take over the kingdom with. That would be cool, maybe a miniaturized version that she can fly as a flying saucer. And then you know what, I decided to add one final one, being the Diamond City rep of characters from WarioWare. What if there was just one slot and then all the different alts were different types of characters from that franchise? You have Mona, Jimmy T, all of these characters, actually all these characters that we've known from Mario Kart finally entering the 3D space in Mario Kart. That would be so cool to see their 3D models and everything. I really hope something like that happens. So adding all these characters up, you would have a massive roster of over 40 original characters to choose from on the chart, and breaking them down into almost over 100 separate characters with different alts and everything for each character. That would be amazing. This would be phenomenal. And we know Nintendo could do it. If we could have over 80 plus characters in Super Smash Brothers, which are completely dedicated characters with movesets and abilities that are very specific and take a lot of time to produce, we can definitely get extra characters and a lot more in something like a Mario Kart for sure. And I'm very excited to see what could happen, and at least from the first party standpoint from the Mario franchise. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date on all things Mario Kart and Nintendo in general. If you really enjoyed this, I'll make another one of these talking about all the characters that could come if Nintendo decided to go the route of adding other Nintendo properties within Mario Kart for a Nintendo Kart, being different characters from Zelda or Metroid and stuff like that. I think that would be very interesting as well. So let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps a long way. And thank you guys so much for everything. And I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.